Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the Blackfoot River in Montana. We got ourselves a gorgeous October day. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, it's beautiful, and we got a great report that dry fly action is happening, so we'll hope it is. Well, stick around. I think it's going to be a great show. I hope so. Man, I, I kind of like that water right there, huh? Yeah, I see a, a really good, a bigger hole up there, but what do you think about this little one? This little water here, is that what you're talking about? Well, I was talking about that big hole, but yeah, let's try this. That yeah. looks great. Yeah, it could be a little sleeper there, maybe. Okay, let's do okay. it. Ooh, I just saw fish rise, I thought. To your fly? No. Oh. Yeah, do you see that too, Clint? Oh yeah, and that's nice. a fish. You got him. Bigger than life. Nice job. Thanks. We have a beautiful day here in mid-October. Got to the Blackfoot River and saw a like looking hole throughout that hopper dropper. And I thought it was a smaller fish, but when I finally saw it, it started to fight. I realized that's no small fish. That's a great trout. Whoa. That's a good fish. Yeah, too. it is. Very nice. That was cool. Oh yeah. Gosh. It's a little more power to it than I thought. Boy, yeah, it's a good one. Boy. Oh, wow, that's a lot nice better fish. than I thought. And he actually is on the nymph, isn't wow. he? Wow. Cool. That's Man. a big fish. Yeah, it is. Is it a cut or a rainbow? No, it's a rainbow. Oh, he came out. Oh, gosh. Wow, he jumped out of the net. <laughs> I thought it came in a little too easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was in the net and yeah. just did a burst. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, I can't get him. Boy. All right, Steve. Let's get him this time. I will try. <laughs> he knows I'm here now. The sneak is no longer an option. Gosh, I can't get him. Boy. I got him finally. Wow. Gosh, that's a nice bow. That's a big <laughs> bow, man. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Gosh, that's rainbow. 16, 17 inch rainbow. Yeah. That oh. was pretty incredible. Awesome, yeah. Just where you'd expect them to be too, off of that riffle, just in the deep water, you know. And yeah, right, and then we got it close to the net, came in way too easy and just shot yeah. out of there again. It was in the net and it jumped. I don't know <laughs> if the camera will see that, but it just yeah. jumped out of the net. Yeah, well, all right, cool. so what a great, great fish that was. Awesome. Oh, there it is. Nice. <laughs> I saw the huge fish rise and I caught the small fish. But, fun fish. Anyway, awesome. I'm going to try to make quick, of course I should never say that, quick work of this guy. Oh, shoot. That's, that's where it's been rising. Right there. You're right on it. Oh, yeah, I see him. He's taken emergers. Oh, he's just below the surface. There's more than one in there too. I think yeah. it's two different fish or at least two different fish. There's another Ooh, one. You got it. There's another one. Nice. Wow. Good job, Steve. Thanks. That was on the nymph. Yeah. Great. Very cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to get switched to one of those emerger patterns real yeah. quick. I have that same fly too right there that caught it on another one. Uh, I'm not gonna get him. Nice sized trout. Beautiful cutty, yeah, and he took that wow dropper. He did, sure, sure enough. <laughs> Good job. Nice, wow. what a fish. Incredible. Some kind of marking on its side, like it maybe got hit by something, but beautiful fish. Really fat, healthy trout. Off he goes. Man, this water is cold too. We're here in uh, early October. And uh, definitely the nights are getting cold. It probably came close to freezing last night. So this water is beautiful temperature for fishing. Incredible. Steve and I quickly made the switch to blue winged olive emergers. This hole we've been catching fish out of, is not just to jump out at you and say, hey, there's gonna be fish in there, but it does have a good look to it. And it, it, it is one that could be overlooked by a lot of people who might just walk by it. So we gave it a shot and it's paying off. Ooh, saw a head way out there. Ooh, there it comes yeah, again. Yeah, you him. see it? I saw him, yeah. My fly went right over the top of him. Steve made another cast toward the rising fish. 
I wonder if it's even more. Oh, that's it. That's it. He that's it. it. Blue winged olive yep. ledger. I knew it was just right there. You could see it rising. Yeah. Of course, I have the net, so that's perfect. Right here. Good fighting wow. fish, man. Good awesome. fighting fish. What if here it comes? Nice. <laughs> Gosh, that's a beautiful <laughs> cut. I cannot believe the size of fish in this river. Wow. Jeez. That, that is, is cool. Fat. Oh my healthy. gosh. And they don't look that big when they're no. sipping just below the surface. Can you yeah, imagine that? You bet. Well, this cutthroat is a little bigger than the last one I caught. And just an absolutely stout fish. Maybe 16 or so. Look at that thing. Wow. wow. Ready to go. Man, that was fun. That was fun. Tried. Uh, mahogany done a merger first because you could see they're just feeding under the surface on a merger patterns and uh, but it wouldn't take that so I switched over to the blue winged all of a merger and uh, hit it within the first couple casts so I'm gonna see if I can get more of them that way so I started fishing with a little bigger emerger pattern for the mahogany done and uh, the fish wouldn't wouldn't even look at it really so I switched to this blue winged all of a merger which is a little smaller and uh, that's what they like Oh, gosh. Good rise right above it. And that was a good fish I just saw rise. Yeah. <laughs> well, Stephen gave me some good advice about uh, watching the emerger. It's really hard to see, but that thing hits so subtly. That man, they're hard to see. Usually, typically, you don't lose a six inch or it's the. I worked the cutthroat toward me and got ready to net the fish. Beautiful little cut. And all the ones I catch are kind of medium to smallish. But man, it's a lot of fun. Beautiful. All right. Head another over to that shot another right fish, there. beautiful. I made a cast back into the productive hole as Steve was working just downriver. There he is. Nice call. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Doesn't look like a likely spot, but. Clint saw fish rise, and sure enough, he took my blue-winged olive, and he's heading off for the races here. You just never know when there's going to be a big fish there. You know, it's shallow water, right on an edge. Doesn't look like big fish water, but there was a big fish. I don't know if he's totally hooked right, because he certainly is fighting more than what his size looks like. Steve, I'm going to try to get that net for yeah, you. Yeah, that'd try, be awesome. Try to Thank get you. downstream. Yeah, I'm having a hard time catching up to this guy, although he's getting a little closer now. Yeah. What a fish, huh? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I don't see why it wouldn't be. <laughs> I don't either, but unless he's, you know, hooked. Not far. Uh, it's foul hooked. Oh, or no, something. it's a beauty. It is it really? fair hooked. Yeah, beauty. It's awesome. a big, big rainbow. Awesome. Yeah, rainbow. Ah. Wow. Oh yeah, I see him there. That's a nice trout. Oh yeah, beauty. Look at that little, little side channel. Here's coming your way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's big. Yeah, he's kind of coming up a little bit now. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should just keep trying to work him in. Yeah. And I tried to get below the fish to make a quick net job of it, but that's not what happened. It was quite a debacle. Watch out, watch out. It's under your feet. Criminy. I think he's got you. Oh, no, he got free. Finally, I was able to net the fish. Oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, yeah, it's just a little oh, fish in there. Gosh. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. What a gorgeous fish. Yeah. 
That was fun. It's just a beautiful. This is just a remarkable fish here. I'm out of the net so you can see him. Definitely he's cut bow. He's got the rainbow stripe and but uh, got the cutthroat slash and so there he goes. Wow, what a fight. My goodness. And I mean that fight started clear up there. Clint pointed out that you know fish rising and I cast and, and then went out by that stick and down by these rocks and we were getting down close to these rapids, the top of the rapids, and it fortunately it stayed above them and Ladd was able to get down there and yeah. almost got snagged, but, <laughs> but we got it. Yeah, it was a great fight, great fish. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for your help. Yeah, you bet, anytime. <laughs> anytime you want that kind of help, just ask for it. Yeah. <laughs> Still got it in though. All right, Woo! we did. Tip of the Week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Oh yeah! Woo. Yeah! Nice size, guys. I just throw the hook because there's like 20 more fish out there. Watch it. Now that was, I was a little frustrated because my bugs were spun up, but thanks to the guys behind me, they were telling me to get, to get my crap in order really because there were a bunch of fish feeding. So it was worth my time to make sure my bugs were unspun, everything's in order for that one cast. So really guys in the back of the boat can make or break it. So this one's, this one's on you guys. Really fat. So I just I just put on a little hopper behind the same kind of stone fly pattern we've been fishing. And it kind of looks like that's the, fit, the fly he ate, so. By, by keeping the rod tip low and keeping this strong bend in it, I can move my rod left or right and actually turn this fish's head. And so if he's fighting me and taking me this way, I'm just gonna come around and bring him to this other side it's just another way to tire your fish out faster so you can shorten the fight. You know, you really just want to enjoy the fight, but land these, these fish as quickly as you can just because you want to get them back in the water and safe. But anytime, you know, I can make him fight the current and my rod, that's going to just make him tired. So I can kind of work him back and forth, especially in this current. We anchored up here just because we don't want to go through this good water. We've been seeing a lot of fish rise. And that's why I'm just going to try and get his head up and as soon as I can, I'll be able to slide him in. Whoa, whoa. But really, most of these places we fish, almost everywhere, if you pinch your barb and catch and release your fish and check to make sure the, the river's open for this time of year, you're gonna be good. Darn it. Sorry. I shouldn't have been talking so much. I can't multitask. <laughs> Uh, I kind of like this spot here. Ooh, this definitely looks like a good hole. Yeah, might be hit a little bit harder, but well, let's look for some heads, see if we can see fish rising like that last spot. Uh huh. And uh, see if we can nail them. Let's do it. We were casting up river in shallow water. Ooh, yeah. Nice. I got him. Nice. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo that's fun. <laughs> That time I just saw the dry go down, you know, and just won't. Uh-huh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Slippery. Okay. Okay, here he comes, Steve. All right, let's get him. Yeah, he's not quite as good as fish. Oh! Golly, darn it, it was so close it to the was. net. It was. I mean, not Shoot. as big a fish, but it was not a nice one. Not the biggest one. fish, yeah. It was a good fish, yeah. definitely. It was. Oh, well, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose in this yeah. ball game. We lost. I lost. I am a loser. <laughs> you got a really pretty cool spot here because the water's back eddying and my fly is actually heading upstream. 
Yo, oh, yeah, shoot. <sighs> Dang it. I missed a fish, but would soon get another opportunity. Yep, got him that time. <laughs> I knew it was in there, I knew it was in there. Yeah, right on this little foam line here. I'm gonna try that again. Just saw my hopper go out of there, and sure enough, there's a fish on the little merger. So I was casting quarter downstream across into the shallow water, and I hit a big fish. I've got the net. Okay, this net might not be big enough. Okay, this is a hog. Wow, hogfish on the stream. I, I saw him out there and I'm, I swear it was that long. Wow. Well, what's this net going to do? Know, but I better go downstream of you though. Yeah. Well, it's going to it could be a little while. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. That big brown's coming up. Watch there's a rock behind okay. you. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. He's going to go Gosh, why am I so nervous? I don't know. I need to there get it from the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the spots on that thing. That is awesome. That's the streamer I hooked him on, and that fish hit as soon as it hit the water. That was incredible. Okay. Wow. I think I'll be fishing the streamer the rest of the uh, day. I'm thinking I am too. <laughs> I'm switching. That was awesome. Yeah, I was way upstream here and I hear hog, fish on, fish on, man. Well, I, I, I don't know if the film with the camera was going when I was casting, mm -hmm. but I was standing right in here yeah. casting over to that shore. Wow. And it hit right away and I thought, gosh, it was snagged. I thought it was snagged on rocks because I was casting in the shallow. Uh -huh. But then all of a sudden it started moving oh, upstream. Oh my gosh, what a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Good job. All right, thanks. We headed up river to find new water. Woo! It's a good splasher though. It's a pretty nice fish. Yeah, I was just casting, you know, upstream in that little soft water between those two currents when it hit. That was one where I was casting upstream. Yeah. And it hit before it, you know, got too far down. It so. looks like there's some nice soft water right out between those two there currents. There is, yeah. There's one. Woo! Looks like a good one. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's, I mean, it's about the same as the last one. I think it's another cutthroat. Decent fish? Yeah, I mean, it's decent, you know. All right. I think it's another cutthroat, isn't it? No, that could be a bull. Is it's it a bull really? trout, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we better keep this guy in the water. I think it's you know, casting right along that edge and letting it sink and kind of just almost dead drifting. Kind of this near dead. edge or? Um, uh, on that other. Far edge? Yeah, the yeah. far edge. Well, the inside of the that. The near edge of the far one. Yeah. So. Are you sure you don't mean the far edge of the near one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but over there somewhere. <laughs> Steve is fishing an edge. He is fishing an edge. <laughs> yep. Afternoon gave way to evening, and our time was running short on the Blackfoot. But I had an opportunity for one last fish. Ooh, yeah. Got him. Nice. I sure do. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> on the purple base. Awesome. <laughs> and it's coming fast. I love the iridescent colors mm -hmm. of a rainbow in a Montana stream. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had a great time here in the Blackfoot River in Montana. Caught some really nice fish. Had a great time. So please join us next week on Fishing with Latin. Okay. This is not going to be fun. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Latin. Because we're
having fun, catching fish.